Hi everybody and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. My name is Zayton and today I will be showing you how to make this cool HUD element sort of techno futury. I made a little demo on it a few days ago. And so it looks pretty neat and we can do this all inside element 3D with the exception of that lens flare over there. Okay, so let's get started. Make a new composition and create a solid. Now what we're going to want to do on this solid is make a shape that's about a square, but it shouldn't be, or a rectangle, or however, whatever shape you want your thing to be as a base. So I'm going to say square, rectangle-ish, and then it really helps if you go in with a pen tool and zoom in really close, and then just do like a slight, make it slightly imperfect. That really helps when we move into later steps. Just make it a little barely noticeable when you look at it the whole way, but yeah, just little, very little subtle things. Okay, and then we're going to change this mask to none so it's not actually affecting anything it's just kind of there and so that's perfect so i'm going to call this hood element okay so now what we're going to do is get element 3d and just drag that on there okay and i'm going to press this little button right there to just turn off those outlines. It's still there, it's just so it doesn't show up. And then we're going to go down to our custom layers tab right here and go to custom text and masks and select the layer that you have. So then you can close that back up and go into the scene setup. So what you're going to want to do is extrude the thing you've created and go to point cloud mode. Okay, there you go, and so now you can sort of see where I might be going with this, but we're going to do a lot more to make it actually look good. So, you can go to your presets, and I'm going to add on just, this one's going to be that reddish preset. So, I'm going to turn up the bevel size, so this is going to bring it in a little, and then I'll expand the edges to make it a little wider and turn up the de depth. So this is going to be like our basic element sort of and it's kind of hard to see here but it gets a lot better when once you add some glow. Okay so now we can go back to our extrusion model and add more paths. So I'll just jump right ahead to three paths because I know I'll be wanting a lot. So the next one maybe I'll make um, blue and then I'll just extrude that, which is really just bringing it up, and expand the size. You know what? I won't do that on this one. I'll mostly just bring up the depth. I'm going to bring this up way to like 100. And then that's kind of high up, so we'll just move it around on the Z offset. So it's a lot of sort of fine detail that will make this look cool. You know what, 100 might be too much. I'll set it to 250. There. Alright, that looks pretty cool. We'll add in a third one. This one can be that. You can be pretty flexible with what presets you choose. Alright, so this is really just a very basic version of what we're looking for. I mean, we could have something a lot more detailed. I think my preview had five layers and they were I spent a lot more time on them. But right now we're just going to hit OK. And so right now it shows up like this and that's completely the opposite of how we want it. 
we want to go into the output and select in polygon mode point cloud so there nothing shows up right now that's because we have to add in a camera so here we'll add in a camera there we go and I'm gonna hit C and just keep hitting it until I get to this tool right here and then I'm gonna pull back so I'm moving I'm basically just dollying the camera backwards and I'm gonna hit C again to return to my main camera tool and so there it's kinda hard to see I don't know if you can see it but we do have yeah it's even harder to see like that some little dots starting to show up there which is perfect we can even change the point size to something like um, well, 20 would be way too much, 2, and that just makes these individual points much bigger, even, I guess, pretty big. It takes away a little of the detail, but it does make it easier to see, so that's, I guess, okay. Now go to the render settings and glow, and enable the glow, and then I like to normally do luminance, turn up the intensity a lot, the radius, and then tint it a color. So I normally do red, green, or blue because those seem to be techno-ish colors. And then when we're moving through this, we can see that we're getting some cool little glow effects. So I'll turn that up some more. I'll saturate this a little so it's a more solid blue. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. And so, like I said, there's not as much detail in here as there was in something like this. But really all I did is I just added more layers of that. And I moved them around and I played with the settings. So, I got more stuff. And a cool thing in here you can do is go to these and change the bevel segments. And that will basically change how many rows there are so here if I take one of these it adds in a lot more so you can see that makes a huge difference so this is a really cool effect and you don't have to use this just for HUD type things you can really use this for everything just be careful though because when you do dolly out of this the glow sometimes can be a little overpowering. Not always, I guess, in this case it's not so bad. But I had in my other one, when I back out of it, and maybe not this one, I had one of them that when I backed out of it just became all glow. So, that's never good. So, thank you for watching this After Effects tutorial. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I will try to get back to you. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something.